So the food sucks at the W, and it's fucking like a zillion dollars. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to walk down the street, okay? And I'm going to fucking uh, maybe find something. So I, I'm walking down the street. It's Saturday afternoon. And ho oh, nelly, Alabama is going to play uh, the Georgia Bulldogs between the hedges, right? Georgia is favored because Alabama lost to Ole Miss the fucking week before, and Georgia is actually given two points. And in the back of my head, I was like, if there was ever a fucking gift, it would be Alabama getting points. But uh, fortunately, I don't have access to a fucking um, a sports book, so which is good because that saves me a bunch of money because anytime you're sitting there thinking like, oh, my God, this is a fucking gift, you end up losing. So I walk down the street like two blocks not even a block and a half. And I see this pub. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go in there. Turns out it's this fucking insane cigar bar slash sports bar. I pop in there, right? There's this fucking guy sitting there, this Southern dude with, with the Georgia Bulldog logo on. And then there's like this old Jewish dude sitting there. And old Jewish dudes are the fucking best, man. They're the fucking best. Give you ridiculous, ridiculous fucking life advice at the most easygoing pace ever are you married are you in love well that's good right they just they'll walk you all the way through fucking life they're the best right so anyways um so i'm sitting with that dude and then there's the other guy you know and they both got cigars going and uh i'm thinking like well i'll fucking smoke one later tonight i'm not gonna smoke during the day but i'm gonna watch the fucking game so they put the game on the crowd's going nuts right Fucking Georgia Bulldogs are jumping up and down. Alabama comes out. They get right in their fucking face. I'm getting amped up like I'm going to play the game, right? And it's a cigar bar, so it's a chill fucking vibe. You can hear the game. Everything's great. All of a sudden, right? It literally is the fucking game's going to start. This tabletop of five or six people walk in with this fucking smug jackass who just has a fucking opinion on everything that he thinks is so goddamn fascinating, which is kind of funny to hear me say, but at least I know I'm a moron. God knows I got an opinion on everything, but I know I'm a fucking moron. And I also know that when you go into a fucking cigar bar, it's an old man vibe. Okay? Inside old man voices, right? This fucking fat cunt, I swear to God, remember that show Jake and the Fat Man? He looked like the fat man. He sits down. And proceeds to start speaking as loud as you could possibly fucking talk without yelling. And he keeps talking about these... He tells this fucking story like three times. About these cigarettes he got in London that for some reason are not legal in the United States. And he kept going like, it's London. But you cannot get them here. I've tried to order them. But they are not legal. And it would always end it the same way. They are not legal. And then he'd go, why? I don't know. Told that story three times. He only told it twice, but I want to say it felt like fucking three. And uh, he's, he's fucking screaming. I finally look over at the old Jewish dude. I'm like, if you, it's like you, you believe this guy? And the old Jewish guy said something like, you know, I, I feel the same way. Like when you get on the plane and there's a baby crying next to you. And I laughed. I go, yeah, but this guy should know better. And then the guy goes, all right. He goes, and he fucking, he just got up and left. You know, because he, what he had on him, he had this beautiful fucking Cohiba. And he knew better. He's like, I'm not going to fucking sit here and smoke this unbelievable cigar with this fat fuck screaming across the goddamn room. Right? That'd be like if you had a, a, like a great glass of wine and the whole time you're drinking it, there was some guy yelling in your fucking ear. So he gets up and leaves. And I sat there and watched the whole first quarter while simultaneously trying to think of a nice way to ask that guy politely to shut the fuck up. Could somebody please help me with this social moment? Because um, I was literally muttering over in the corner. Like I'd be like, and, and no matter how much I tried to be nice, like by the time I got to the end of the sentence, the rage would come in and I would drop the F-bomb. I'd be like, excuse me, sir, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, but uh, you're sort of yelling and, you know, you're in a fucking cigar bar, you dumb cunt. No, you can't do that. Can't do that. Back it up. Um, Sir, I'm not trying to inhibit you from having a good time, but for some fucking reason, you don't give a shit that you're doing that to me, you fat fuck, right? I mean, just kept going like that, right? So I never ended up saying anything, and I finally... uh, 
I, I left after the first quarter and I went back to the fucking W Hotel. 